Hey, this is Zach from 2 to 4 Gamers, and today we're bringing you a walkthrough of Chapter 4 Cutthroat Carnival in Skylanders Giants. Once you enter the boat, run to the opposite side and enter the door. Inside, you'll find the first treasure chest. Exit the room and activate the wheel in the center of the ship to move the platform into place. Cross the platform and head into the building on the left. Use a giant or bomb to destroy the wall to gain access to the second treasure chest. Further up the path after you have moved the two blocks blocking your way, head up the ramp to the right and follow the pirate holding the key into the building. If it's a key you seek, then you must win it for me in a Skystones game. Hey. Defeat the pirate at a game of Skystones to gain Zero access to the key and story scroll. I do mean that literally. He won! Well, here be the key and the best Skystones. <laughs> Use the key to unlock the gate on the previous island and defeat the wave of enemies. After they have been defeated and Callie talks to you, take the road to the left to acquire the soul gem. Continue following the road onto the boat and run to the other side to collect the winged sapphire. Next, use the wheel to move the platform into place to access the air elemental zone. Inside here, you'll find the first hat. Return to the docks and beat the Dockmaster at a game of Skystones or use a giant to pull the ship closer. Board the ship and run up the stairs to the right to find the third treasure chest. After you use the cannon to blow up the wall, defeat the enemies and continue up the path. Once you get to the jail cells, use the cannon or a giant to break the cell on the far left and run down the path to collect the Luxtron wheel. Once you enter the pirate's headquarters, head to the house in the back left located underneath the key. Smash the boxes in the corner to reveal a presser switch. Return outside and enter the newly opened door in the center of the stage to receive the legendary treasure. Next, run up the ramp located in the bottom right and defeat all of the enemies. Continue to the right to access the undead elemental zone. Let's ride in. <laughs> Move the block into place and activate the switches to create the bridge. Cross the bridge and use a bomb or giant to destroy the wall, giving you access to the final treasure chest. Oh. 
Continue further into the Undead Elemental Zone past the Spinning Blades and up the Bounce Patch to reach the second hack completing the item collections for this level. Once again, thank you for watching and please like, comment, or subscribe for more videos.